guys, it's Sudana. What? <laughs> What's up, you guys? It's Sudana, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, please go ahead, take a look around. If you like what you see, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey. It's been crazy, but I wouldn't have it any other way. This video is going to be how I study for my end of rotation exams. And for the purpose of this video and every other time in my life, they are called EORs. So how do I study for my end of rotation exams or EORs? That's what this video is. So with respect to EORs, we have them at the end of every core rotation. So I have like seven core rotations and four um, electives. So in my four electives, I'm not going to have a, like a standardized end of rotation exam. You know, I'm not going to have a standardized EOR. We'll have OSCEs. And I mentioned this before in another video where the professors will be there and they come in like, oh, you know, my back hurts or I have this cough. It's very productive, that kind of stuff. Um, and we have to figure out, hey, what's going on with you guys? So with respect to that, you know, we'd have that at the end of our electives, but at the end of our core rotations, we have EORs. So my program, we do our EORs with respect to PAEA. So that is the educational body of the PA world. Um, all things education go through PAEA and they provide our end of rotation exams. So it's kind of like national standardized type of test. We have that at the end of every core rotation and you know it gives you like a breakdown like the pack rat or like the pants would give you a breakdown on areas that you need to go ahead and like kind of review or study up on uh, and areas that you may not need to. For me, I really like that. But with respect to actually studying and preparing for this test, because it is three hours long. So we have to get there. We have to get to school like at, you know, eight o'clock. It'll start at like eight and it doesn't finish until like 11. It's a long test. You know, it's 120 questions. You typically want to do it a minute a question, but it's, it's long. 60 questions in two separate blocks is how they break it up. With respect to that, PAEA has a blueprint of each section, like each core rotation. So the things that you need to know, what you need to look at, things that you need to study. Uh, and I will go through the blueprint for each rotation. So for PEDS, I'll go through the blueprint and see all the various different um, disorders or things that I need to study. And I would do that the same, you know, for all of the other ones, emergency medicine and so on. After looking at that blueprint, my Q banks are like my best friend. I would go in and I would do testing, but I wanted to do kind of, I like to do like a pre type of testing, like before any type of studying is done just to see like where my knowledge base is. So I use Roche, I use Kaplan to do those testing because those are where I get the Q banks from. And I would put in like, you know, pediatric, or women's health, whatever it may be that I'm on on that current rotation. And I would put in the questions. I would do, like, I do like 50 questions um, and I just do that test and see how well I did on that. From that, depending on the questions that I got right or wrong, because it tells you uh, as you're going through Kaplan and Ross review, it tells you like what you get wrong and you know why it was a wrong answer, why the other answers were right. Um, so I would always write those down. And so I have like a notebook of everything that I've gotten wrong or you know things that I was like, oh, okay. Like I kind of guessed on that, I got it right, but I need to kind of look up this information a little bit more. I have like a little small notebook that I take with me on my rotations um, for things that I see on my rotations and then also things that I've studied on Kaplan's QBank and Rosh Review. From that, then I go and I actually study. So I study with my study guide because you, all of the things that you're seeing um, on your clinical rotations, you've seen in didactic year, you've learned that material in didactic year. In conjunction with that, any of those like picture mnemonic type things like picmonic is a good option and something that I use to just kind of go through learning the material and then quizzing myself on it. After I've studied like through with respect to my actual like paper notes, then I go and I retake the exam. Now this is not like the same exam that I took, you know, through Rosh Review or Kaplan like the first time. And I do this typically with Rosh because there's like over, you know, 
100 questions or 300 questions available for each section. You just kind of want to choose how many you want for that test. So if I chose 50 and there's like 300 questions, I still have 250 more to choose from. Um, it may not necessarily be the same material that I learned uh, that I didn't know in my first exam, but it should be material that I have seen somewhere, be it through and one of my studying resources. And that is typically how I study for my EORs. If you are a PA student and you're watching this or you're a pre-PA and you're about to get into PA school, I definitely think all of those resources, be it Ross Review, Picmonic, Kaplan, Marty Pants, and Pants Prep Pearls and your own notes, those are all great resources, really, really great resources for you. I I think the more you go and you read those questions, the more that you repeat those questions, the more that you study and see the material, you can study and, uh, you know, just kind of booster your skills and pass um, PA school and become a PAC because that is the end goal and the desire. Anyways, that is it. If you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Like this video if you liked what you see and follow me on Instagram at Adana the PA. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.